man, that was good. I am stuffed. Oh, me too. I still think you tipped her too much. Now, wait a second. I did not tip her too much. You had her running all over the place. The food was great. Service was unbelievable. And I can't believe you finished off eight of those buffet plates, man. I can't take you anywhere. I know. Speaking of going anywhere, uh, where are we going to go for our next show? I was thinking scuba diving. What well, do you think? We've already done that. Oh, you're right. Rock climbing. No, I've already done that. <laughs> Skydiving. We've already done that, David. <laughs> well, gee, I guess we've done everything. What's the point? Oh, if we could just go somewhere new, somewhere we've never gone before. Hey, that's it. It's time to test out my new invention. No, 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 no more new inventions. I remember your last invention. <coughs> Woo! <sighs> no, 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 those days are all over, David. I've had plenty of practice. I'm gonna go back to the studio and get my invention. You go and find a phone booth and call me from it, okay? Okay. And I'll meet you there. All right. Bye. Gotcha. Oh, hey, Smedley, why a phone booth? Smedley? How do I get myself into these situations? A phone booth? Yeah, nothing like a little Shakespeare to pass the time. Uh, uh, boy, that's heavy. Hey, Smedley, it's about time. I've been here forever. Yes, David, it's all about time. <laughs> what is this contraption? It's my time machine. Now you can travel anywhere in time to do the show. Now, how about you travel anywhere in time to do the show and I direct? How's that? Uh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. You see, I'm the only one programmed to direct the show from another place in time. Oh. No, oh, it, it, it's too complicated for you to understand right now. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Now, I'll be stationed here, and I'll be able to hear everything that's going on because we're going to plug into that phone booth there. Right okay, here? Grab the plug. Yep. Where do I plug it in? Uh, the coin return, of course. Oh, of course. Okay. Good. Now, okay, grab the earpiece and okay. the homing device. This? Yep. Okay. okay. Now just step over there next to the phone booth. Okay, I'm going to step next to the phone booth yeah, get, and right magically be transported through time to a different place. Okay, now just dial, uh, let's say, 400. Okay, I'll dial 400 and be magically transported to a different time in a different place. Ooh, because you've done this so many times, I'm sure. Oh, yes, on inanimate objects, of course. They all disappeared and never came back. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna hit four. Ooh, here we go. Time travel, zero. Stand back, here go the sparks, zero. <gasps> oh no, it worked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it worked? It worked? Smedley, Smedley, can you hear me? Where am I and when am I? I hear you. I hear you, David. Uh, uh, where are you? I don't know where I am. It's your invention. Don't you know how it works? Wait a minute. Don't you know where I am? Oh, no. How am I going to bring it back if I don't know where you are? What? You can't bring me back? Oh, no, no. I said I will bring you back, uh, in an hour. <laughs> that, that's it, yeah. Um, uh, listen, um, <clears throat> Why don't you just uh, walk around and tell me what you see, okay? Tell me every little detail. Uh, have fun, you know. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'll work on uh, bringing you back in an hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. One hour. I could do that. I'll see if I can uh, find some people. Excuse me. Uh, I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore. What, what, what are you dressed like that for? You, you are... You guys have the cool costumes. Oh, but, but the sir, no, this is what I wear every day. Yes. Oh, this is, this is so beautiful. Where did you get this a fine piece of jewelry? This is a watch. Watch? Watch, watch what? Watch what? You guys are... You guys are... Wait a minute, hold on. Wait, where am I? You're in the puddle chain. Smedley, this isn't good. I... Smedley, this, this isn't good. I... Excuse me! Excuse me!
Where did he go? Is it St. Smedley's Day and we missed it? Smedley. Saint Smedley. Saint Smedley. Saint Smedley. Oh, St. Smedley. Oh, St. Smedley. Patron oh, saint of yeah, Village yeah, yeah, Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 no, oh, well, Ralphie, he is, he is talking to St. Smedley, the patron saint of Village Idiots. Ah, well, I do, and too, sometimes speak with myself. And sometimes I even get answers, which is the scary part, but I never hear Smedley in my ear. No, I don't. Mayhaps you could talk to him because you are the village idiot, and you could talk to him. Mayhaps he is an idiot from another village. You could have a convention. You could learn things. He could take over from Smedley? Smedley? I think I hear him. Smedley? Smedley? Ralphie! Smed I did. Ralphie! I hear, I hear, I hear, oh, I hear, I hear, I hear! Excuse me, kind Hi. sir. Well, good day, Miss Horn. How are you? Maybe you could help me. Um, I'm trying to find out a little uh, information here, and maybe you could supply me with some. You look like you're filled with information well, and goodies. Yeah, so what I, I do have a set of goodies, you know. They're just First of all, what is it that you do here? I'm the Friar of Puddleton. Friar the of Puddleton? The Friar now. See, I got me cross. Oh, okay. And everything. I'm the, the, these are the, my flock now. Okay, well, a bunch of very nice people. Who's the president of your land? We're all present now. No, not present, present. President. You know, president. Like the president of the United States, the president of Puddleton. The leader. Yeah, the leader, the leader. Ah, well, we don't have a president, you say? Yeah, president. No, 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 no. We have a king. Oh. It's a king and queen, though. Oh, really? Yes. What, what yes. are their names? King Edward the 43rd and Queen Catherine, now. Edward and Catherine. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I appreciate God bless you. it. I'm yeah, sorry right. to interrupt your dinner. All right, no, that's just a snack. No, okay. Snack. Thank you. Oh, man. Excuse me. Oh, You've helped me before. Could you help me again? Oh, certainly. I've got uh, a long day ahead of me. I have an hour to kill, and I need to lie down. I've had a, oh, a long journey. Oh, let's prepare the bed. Can you help me? Yes, we oh, have beautiful. a lovely bed for you right here. Oh, no, wait a minute. Now turn oh, right no, no. Hold wait a minute. Hands. Hold your hands. Okay. okay. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, it's, oh. Oh. Nice. it's much more medicinal than oh. legions. Thank you. Yes. I'll just, it's, very, it's very therapeutic. I'll just nap here. Thank you. Smedley, help me. Help me. Smedley. Smedley. You have to bring me back early. I really don't fit in around here, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? You're not fitting in. You've got to fit in. You've got to learn how to make friends with new people, David. They think I'm some sort of alien. I mean, what is this? Where did you put me? Some other planet? Oh, wait, wait a minute. King Edward and Queen Catherine, you're in the Renaissance period. You've traveled back 400 years to Europe. My invention really works. Wow. Oh, the problem is, I need to find out exactly where you are before I can bring you back. You're going to have to find out more about those people in that place that you're in, or we'll never get you back. David D. TV, a Smedley production, will be back after these messages. And now, back to more David D. TV. Hey, Smedley, you think that sounded like me? Smedley, I'm going to try to find out a little bit more here, buddy. Uh, there's a lot of people in this part of the village. Excuse me. Pardon me. Whoa. Ah. Excuse me. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm a friend. I'm, I'm a friend. I'm here from the 20th century. I know it's hard to believe. What do you guys drive around in? Where are your cars? Where are your vehicles? Vehicles. We ride in carriages. If in carriages. we are lucky enough. <laughs> wow, carriages. Because I, uh, I got a car. If, uh, if it's not here, but if you guys want to go for a ride, maybe. Okay. Um, thanks for your time. Okay. <laughs> he does not quite look like a this strange one. It thing on the front of his head. I've never quite seen anything like that and he before. He does have a strange brooch upon his neck. I know well, what it means. at least he has no weapons upon him. Either. What, uh, what time period is this? People are giving me different answers. Where, when are we? Well, right now. Well, we're now, of course. We're now. We're right Thanks now. for your help. Uh -huh. Boy, this is going well. Thank you, Smedley. Good day. Um, could you help me out? Hi, my lord. That's our job. What did you call me? My lord. My lord, OK. Um, where are we? Puddleton on the Pittle, sir. Of course. Of course, I knew that. And uh, what is it that you do here? I'm a traveling storyteller, my lord. Traveling storyteller? Could you I tell me a story? 
Hi, well, I have been hearing bits and pieces of one today about a young man in strange clothing that's been running around acting rather like a village idiot. Um, okay. They're, they're thinking maybe he's stealing Ralphie's job. Okay, thank you. I appreciate your help. Hi, my lord. Good uh, day. Good day. Excuse me. Good day, my lord. Sir, everybody keeps calling me that. I don't know why. Well, what's your name? Cameron. Cameron. What is it that you do, Cameron? I am the prince of fashion, my lord. Oh, you're a prince? Whoa. That's a self-imposed title, I must say. Wow. Because where I come from, there's a prince, but he, he kind of sings and dances. Oh, what? Um, maybe, uh, maybe, you're, maybe you're, you're, uh, my lady? is this your lady? My lady. Maybe she could help me. What is it you need? I found out where we are. It's, is it Piddleton or Puddleton? Puddleton. Puddleton. I need to find out when we are. Yes. Well, thank you, Prince. Do I do I bow? Do I? What oh do I no, do? my lord, I would bow to you. Oh well, thank you. Wow. Well, I think I could get used to this place. Thank you very much. Hey guys. Hey, Bonjourno. Well, what are they doing over there? Oh, oh, that's where they have the human chess match. You see, the lords, for their entertainment, they have staged a chess match, but they don't just move little pieces on boards. They have big human beings out there, and whenever a piece takes another piece, they have a big fight with swords and smashing and whacking. And and there's jousting, too. No, wait, 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 what's jousting? What's that all about? Jousting is when two knights get up on horseback and they recreate ancient battles, but this time they're not trying to kill each other. They're just trying to knock each other flat on the patouche. That's got to hurt. Oh, it hurts uh -huh. a lot. They put on 80 pounds of armor and they ride horses all the way down the list field, stampeding with the crowd, cheering and screaming and rooting for their favorite knight. And then they smack each other. <laughs> and this is recreation or is it sport? This is, it, it is sport. It is, it is like a hobby, because you see, now we are in a wonderful period. This is the renaissance, the rebirth of civilization. We're not fighting any wars right now, so people have time to go out and play, and they practice all these skills that they used to use in the wars. Smedley! Smedley, did you hear that? We are in the town of Puddleton, on Piddle. All right, David, well, you got it narrowed down. Well, it'll be easy to get you home now. All you need to do is set your homing device. Okay, good, the homing device. The Wait a second. Oh no. No, I, I I couldn't have lost the homing device. I mean, it's got to be. It's right. No, no, it's. Oh my gosh, I I lost the homing device. I, I can't believe I lost the homing device. What? You lost the homing device? Okay, okay. I know you're having fun in the Renaissance period, David, but <laughs> this is no time to joke around. <sighs> We've got to get you back home. Now, wait a minute, Smedley. No, 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 I'm not joking here. There, there is no homing device. How am I going to get home with no homing device? We just reconstruct another one. Yes, we... No, no, this is the Renaissance time. They don't have, they don't have remote controls. They don't even have electricity. There's, there's got to be a way to construct another homing device. We can do this. David, the only thing I can say is that you'll have to try to find someone else like me, another genius. Oh no, no, you mean find a little puppet character who finally got lucky after hundreds of his little stupid inventions have failed. Ought to be a piece of cake. Good luck. If Smedley doesn't break anything, we'll be back with more after this. We're back. More David D. TV. <sighs> this is working out just great. Man. My lord, you seem distressed. Oh, well, it's nothing against you guys. It's just all the friends out there that you have. They, they're nice enough, but they don't believe me. I mean, I'm from the 20th century. I've traveled 20th through time. 20th century? Travel through time? Really, my lord? Yes. And I suppose you don't believe me either. No, no, no. I believe in time travel. You do? No, certainly. Well, what are you? A snow dragon, my lord. A snow dragon? No, certainly. There's no such thing as a snow dragon. We saw the snow dragon at your service, my lord. You could shake it. And you believe in time travel? Most well, certainly, I'd love to. So, have you ever traveled through time? Most well, certainly, my lord. Can you help me get back? We are not the same creature, my lord. Yeah, that's you true. You have to get back the way you got here. Yeah, that's true. Maybe well, if you ask some of the other people in the village. You think they could help me? Well, I've been talking to them. I've been finding out some information, but I'm, I'm not having too much luck. I don't think they like me too much. Ralphie is very wise. 
He would know. You think I should give him a second chance? No, certainly. All right, thanks for helping, Mr. Snow Dragon. I'll be seeing you? I hope to. Maybe I'll travel to your time. All right. Good luck. He's loony. He's not loony. He's just a stranger. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck here. Why, you old kid? Well, nothing against you, but this just isn't my kind of place, you know? I mean, I'm used to TVs and VCRs and cool cars. What? Oh, never mind. Some guy who thinks he's a genius, but really is kind of an idiot, sent me here, and now I'm stuck. Your Lordship, I know exactly of who you speak. I do, I do, I do. You can help me? Yes, Your Lordship, I can point you out immediately to one who is stupid but thinks he's not. Who, where? Tobacco, Your Lordship, he can, yes. He you can. sure? That's the person you might look for, Your Lordship. Excuse me, maybe you can help me. I'm trying to, uh, Transport through time. Could you help Transport me? Transport through time? I know not. I'm just a jester. I tell jokes and things. Tell me what a jester is. A jester? Well, well, he's a fool. Uh, <laughs> OK. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, and he entertains and does stupid things for money. And that's his job? Yes, it is true. Would you like to hear something stupid? Well, um, um, OK. All right, all right. How do you measure the average speed of a flying potato? How do you ma average the flying speed of a flying potato? Yes. What? How? With a spudometer. Uh, spudometer. Ah, spudometer. This thank, thank you very much. <laughs> Smedley, do you see what you got me into here? Smedley. Can you hear me? Smedley? Yeah. Medley? I know Medley. You know Medley? I know Medley. Would you like to hear one? No, no, no. He, he, he's over there. I've just seen him recently. Someone who can help me? It's true. His name's Bentley. Thank you, Jester. Uh -huh. Over here? Uh, that way. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you help me out? Oh! oh. <laughs> Smedley! Excuse me, sir. Are you speaking to me? Yes. Smedley, it's me. It's me, David D. Uh, I'm a friend that you must have mistaken me for someone else. My name is Medley, the village genius. Gosh, that's unbelievable. Well, maybe you can help me then. A friend of mine, Smedley, looks an awful lot like you. He built a time machine. Now, wait a second. He sent me here from the 20th century. Gadzooks, it worked! My plan that I've been developing, it really worked! I knew that someday my ancestors would find my plans and build a time machine and come back to visit me. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. It worked, but I have a problem here. This is where I need your help. I lost the homing device, and I need to make another one, and if I don't, I'm stuck here. I can't get back home. Yes, the homing device is crucial. It's going to be nearly impossible without a duct decapacitor. <sighs> Wait a minute. What's that? The strange this? device on your wrist. This is a watch. A watch? What's it for? That's for telling time. Oh! That's it? We'll use the watch as the timing device. But then we'll need a zap. Now, if we could only predict when the next storm will be... Mm. Storms? They had storms. storms in the 14th century. See, I know that. How do I know that? Oh, I don't know. How do wait, you know that? Wait, Shakespeare wrote about storms. Shakespeare? Yes, listen, listen, listen. Tis high time for the storm to hit on the eve of the jester's wedding day. Wow, good printing. Well, that's it. Those are the writings of Shakespeare from the future, and he's writing about <gasps> tonight. That's right, today is the jester's wedding day. Now, I think we're going to get you back home after all. We've got some work to do. <laughs> if Smedley doesn't break anything, we'll be back with more after this. And now, back to more David D. TV. Hey, Smedley, you think that sounded like me? As great as this place is, I gotta get back to the 20th century. Oh, yeah, Lord, Chef, you must get out of this. There's a storm coming, a great storm. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Whoa!
It worked! You're home! <laughs> Welcome well, home, Renaissance man. <laughs> Smelly, I never thought I'd ever say this, but I am really glad to see you. Yeah, I can't well. believe you designed a time machine all by yourself. This is unbelievable. Well, I can't take all the credit. I uh, found these plans stored away in the family trunk. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You see what this says? Medley, the village genius. It's dated the 16th century. <laughs> Whoa, it worked. <laughs> David, you're home. <laughs> Welcome home, Renaissance man. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I never thought I'd say this, but I am... The phone's ringing. <laughs> oh my god, the phone's ringing! Don't answer it! Hello? Oh, shit, they hung up. <laughs> that was weird. You had a running all over the place. We, we ate way too much. I mean, look at you. I mean, what is the deal? Man, this is just a stupid, silly line. It's a stupid, silly guess. line. It's so silly. I can't even get it. It's stupid. And we altered it. I memorized the original, which was brilliant. And now we're messing it up, and it, it's not coming out. Just like David, always oh, messing with perfection. <laughs> and now, back to the countdown. Uh... Don't touch me there. Sorry. Well, listen. Maybe you could help me then. Listen, a friend of mine, Smedley, looks an awful lot like you. He built a time machine. Now, wait a second, wait a second. Before you start disbelieving this, he sent me here from the 20th century, okay? I know it's tough to believe, but... Uh... It must have worked! It must have worked! Now, if I can only find my plan, I can show you. Ah! But I believe they've fallen away. I blew it anyway. <laughs>